good. Right there. Oh! Wow. You this know how long space. I've been waiting for that crack? <laughs> Pain becomes a norm and you know like it's it's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, son of a b that was good. I think I gained one inch on the reach. We oh, God. <laughs> It's like you feel like a little nauseous. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I find a hug. Yeah. <laughs>we have Violetta today. They're coming in. They've been watching. You, you've actually been watching for, you guys have both been watching for a yeah, while, right? Yeah. Finally decided to, to make your way over here. What made you guys decide to schedule? Well, I mean, great videos, great adjustments. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> we just, it. We got inspired and encouraged you to do a better in our life. You know? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so you got to start with your health. Yeah, you got to start with your health yes. and it's important, right? Because yes. it gets pretty tough. I mean, as we get older, a lot of the things that we do when we're younger kind of start to catch up with us. Well, that's a key. That's here you go. You said it. Mm -hmm. What's the thing that's been what's bringing you in today? What's been going on with your body? Uh, neck pain, upper body, and lower body headaches. S headaches. So, I mean, that's a lot. Which is the one that kind of like bugs you the most day to day? The neck. The neck. neck, it's constant. I mean, you live in the pain, so then you're so used to the pain that you think you don't have a pain till, you, till it comes really, really bad and you're like, oh my God, I cannot move. We really shouldn't be living with pain and just managing pain, right? Once once pain starts to become our norm, that's a, that's a sign, that's a red flag, right? Yes. That's a red flag. We, we, we can't live like that. Well, when the pain becomes a norm, then you know like it's, it's bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's really bad. How yes. often are you having your headaches? Two, three times a week for no reason, which is before I never had it. In my 20s and my 30s, but I never had a headache. But did you go through anything in your 20s and 30s? Car accidents, I guess the birth. Those are, I mean, those are big, <laughs> those are big yeah. traumas. Oh no, just a car accident, it's okay. <laughs> When you're young, you don't feel it. Yeah, when you're you young, know, you definitely don't feel it. And then it, it just gets uh, catch up with you. I mean, it really was not that intense, but you know, the, the crash itself, mm -hmm. it made explode the, um, the airbags. The airbags? The yanking part, that's what you know, it was like, I was I remember like, I was like so stiff for like a week. Seals. And then you know what, I made a mistake back then because a lot of people said, you know, you have to go to do physical therapy. So you just yeah. brushed it off, yeah. you know, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. Yep. I never even probably got it done an x-ray afterwards. I refused to go to hospital because I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine because I was scared of a large bill. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I didn't realize, that, you know, insurance can cover all that, you know, so yeah. So, I mean, car accidents in itself cause a lot, but it's never really just like one incident that causes a lot of this. It's, it's an accumulation of what we do in our lifestyle and throughout our life because you've also been pretty athletic, right? You said you told me you played yeah. a lot of sports. Yes. Well, you know, from... Looking at your x-rays, we can see that there has been a lot of things changing within your body, right? Especially your spinal curves. And so that definitely happens over time. And that's a combination of all of the things that happen in our life. Whether it's the high activity things that we put ourselves into or the physical traumas like the car accident. And then just stress because yeah. life. Yeah. In your day-to-day, -day, like, what's the worst thing that this bothers you with? Well, you know, I think it, for me it was, was really it was the worst. So, you know, I had four kids back to back. And at some point, if they were in two free kids in the diapers. Mm. And they all want to mommy carry me, you know. So I would be like that monkey, you know, with the three <laughs> kids all over <laughs> my neck. Yeah. And then you constantly on your feet. All, even now, you know, even when they're a little bit bigger now, you're constantly doing things, you know, like yeah. always on your feet. So you never rest. You never really start. I mean, I used to pay attention to my posture. I don't think so. I pay attention to my posture anymore, you know, so the posture. Well, it's yeah. hard to pay attention when you're you're like be having to be aware of like three yeah. other little beings. Yeah. So four. <laughs> four other little beings. Four. Yes. I mean, all of that stress, right, on top of, I mean, you said you had multiple C-sections, you had an epidural, yeah. you also had to have surgery. Yes. That's a lot, right? Yes. And the more and the more and the more we deteriorate the body, the harder it is for it to stay strong in its foundation. This has been a lot. Yeah. So we need to get you adjusted. I guess we do. I'm going to have you look to the left. Okay. Look to the right. Okay, do you feel anything just looking left and right? 
No. Mm -hmm. No stickiness, no pains, no mm -hmm. nothing. Just feels normal for you, right? Yeah. Look straight ahead. I'm gonna have you bend your neck, so ear to shoulder to this side. Actually, like the, oh, right here I feel a tension, like right on that when, side. Yeah, so when I go like that. Got it. So instead of looking down, just bend to this side. Like this. Yeah. Do you feel anything there? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Turn to this side. <laughs> how, how does that side feel? Okay. When I do this, I feel somewhere in my spine too. Okay. Yeah. You feel it coming down this mm -hmm. way. Yeah. I'm gonna have you look up to the sky, yeah. and then this is I feel like. Everything a lot of, me, yeah. Okay, a lot of tension. And on my back. Okay, look down to the ground. Looks like your chin doesn't really come down. Yeah, yeah, it's like, um, I feel like it's I'm like forcing it. Yeah. I have to like, and everything from my spine pulls. All the way through. Yes. Okay. So if you're doing a lot of neck mobility and you're feeling a lot of pulling going all the way down here, a lot of it comes from your thoracic spine, right? Everything's connected. Rib cage two. So if you get a lot of pulling through here, it's gonna affect the structures up here as well, right? And your head is already coming really far forward. So we are gonna target the neck. So because you have that reverse curve, right? A lot of it is coming from your neck and your posture, but it's also coming from your mid back because as that mid back arches forward, that's why your neck also comes forward. Yeah, I noticed my posture is so, so bad, you know, it's like, uh, like all the neck, it's, I, the neck, it feels like it's like be growing on me, mm. like, you know, wider, but at the same time shrinking down, just so weird. Yeah. Like your neck is yeah. shrinking into yes. your shoulders. Yes. Well, no, we need to release that. Yes. So let's start at your mid back. So let's start down here. We're going to start in your TL because that's where you had the most amount of change in the bone right there. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Breath in, drop your head. Good, right there. Oh! Wow. Oh my God. That was loud. Are you okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I knew it's coming, but that was wow. Oh, that was juicy. I don't know what I feel yet. But they Just, feel like I'm straighter. <laughs> so the muscles are gonna start to feel sore. They're gonna let go. You're gonna get more range of motion. It, it's, it's like we're kind of taking the rust off. It's like working out. If you do like a really good intense yeah. workout, you're gonna be sore the next day. So for this one, we're gonna go a little bit higher. This one, we're gonna come down like this. I want you to relax your shoulder blades right there. Wow, there it is. Test out your neck. Just move it around a bit. Um, you still feel as much pull or the pull? Yeah, I don't feel it. It's a little easier. Yeah, I don't feel a pull on my, like right here, what Good. I was feeling. Stand over here, because we're gonna check out your motion. And then you're yeah. just gonna reach down and touch your toes. Good. <laughs> no, I think it's already <laughs> better because of my flexibility, you know, I usually, I, like you feel it like I feel, like you know you lose the time yeah but like I'm like okay this is not bad you're okay. feeling a little looser a little yes. a little freer yes all right so you have a lot of tension in your CT here your right shoulder is a lot higher than your left yes it's always a problem mm -hmm. good so you're gonna feel <laughs> This contact right here at the base of your neck. We usually like to do some mirror adjustments so it's the opposite of what your neck's used to doing. <gasps> oh, nice. That? that was good. Is it good? Yeah. I felt it move. I felt it too. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the cracks aren't really loud because it's just like yeah. gas bubbles trapped, but you can feel the bone actually move under no, your hand. I, I felt it, but yeah. I wasn't sure. Did I feel it or did I hear it? But I'm like, I think I did not hear it. <laughs> and sometimes people scream louder than they crack, so it's... <laughs> 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 Was I loud? <laughs> no. Nah, you good. All right, let's do a little bit more in here. And so if you have a reverse curve, this is going to accentuate even more. If you have a hyperflexed thoracic spine, it's gonna accentuate even more. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna guide it over. I want you to relax your shoulder, relax your head. I gotcha. Push straight across there. 
Oh. <laughs> sneaky. I'm very, very sneaky, sir. So other side too, now that we release this side, or the other side, this side's a little bit smoother. So we're gonna finesse this one a little bit more. Oh. There we go. Oh. I'm, I'm good, yes. <laughs> I, I haven't got to this adjustment. Like, I mean, I, ha I don't think I ever had to adjust one like that. Never like that? Mm -hmm. The face down ones? I mean, I got the face down, but not, not like this. Oh my God. We like to make sure that we are finding the right adjustment for the patient on the table's body, because there's so many different ways to do it. Sometimes they can look very similar, but they're not just because yes. of the contact, the area that we're adjusting, if there's a little bit of torque, if there's a little bit of rotation, if there's a lateral bend. My neck feels really good. Feels good? Yes. More motion? Oh, yes. So with a straight leg, don't lift the knee, or don't bend the knee, but lift the leg. Like that? Mm-hmm, just straight up. Interesting, your leg goes out a little bit. Come back down, let's check the left one. Mm. So you notice how this one goes straight up, the other one goes out to the side. So it's getting caught, there's a fixation on the right, there's a little bit more fluidity on the left. Oh yeah, your hip feels really rotated out. And this one feels like it's really far out that way. Shorter leg on the left side. Do you feel any pressure when I go in like this? Right here. Right in the middle or off to one side? Like right More to the right. And then you're gonna feel a little pressure come inward this way. <gasps> Is that pressure okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna move it a little bit more again. Great, right there. Oh! How does that feel? just twisted, it was like, oh. I just, all I did was put a oh, tiny no. little pressure. I already grabbed it. <laughs> oh, that was nice. That was great. I'm gonna lock that in with my palm. You're not gonna fall. I'm gonna roll you right there. Oh! Wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's like you feel like you're a little nauseous. Oh, that's good. <laughs> As the muscles start to let go, things are starting to adapt better. Yes. Just, how's that feel though? Feels good. Feels good? Mm hmm. Okay, let's test it out. Bring it over. Lift the right lobe. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> She's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oh, I don't feel That is anymore. so much better. Yeah. I know deep, deep inside, we're going to need to do a couple more times to fully get it right. Mm -hmm. But I can already tell it's so much more better. And you know, another thing is I, I can feel it. It goes a little sideways, but I don't have a pain right here. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is that it'll go a little sideways and then it'll correct back to the center as yeah. you get it all the way up. So now we're getting more or we're getting better communication from your muscles mm -hmm. and the joint space in between everything. So now everything is engaging instead of just being in separate parts. Yeah. Let's go face down, face up again. This is always feels so tense. It's not even a pain. It's just like when someone touches me, I feel it like, oh my God. So right there, you feel that spot? You mm -hmm. feel how tense that is? Mm -hmm. It's because as it pulls forward, it's also pulling the muscles with it. Got it right there. Nice slight contact. Oh! Oh, son of a b that was good. Oh my Sorry, God. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Okay. you know this how long space. I've been waiting for that crack? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was excellent. That was, that was smooth. Oh, that was so good. Mm -hmm. So perfect, clean, like, oh. Can we do another side? Yeah, we can do the other side. <laughs> so right there. Perfect. Oh! Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was beautiful. Uh, yes. There we go. Trying to watch my language. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like this has been more physical than any, more like emotional too? I know the change is happening with my neck and upper body and it's affecting you, you know, and not only the pain affecting you, but it also affects, you know, like, you know, your looks, you know, so you, you're always conscious about it, mm -hmm. you know, like short answer, yes. <laughs> short answer, yes. <laughs> yes.
It's okay, sometimes we like the long answers. That's feeling so much better. Let's do a strap, why not? Why not? Bring your legs down. <laughs> Bring your head up. This is definitely now I feel like a witch. <laughs> Someone calls me a witch. So this is the torture of the witches. The tor <laughs> this is definitely not the torture. It's going to alleviate it. <laughs> You're going to feel it come straight up. And then boop, right there. Oh! Oh my God. Oh, I felt it in the mic. I don't know why did I feel it. I felt all my spine move like this. Everything. Yes. How's that feeling now on your body? Uh, this one I feel a little like like trauma happened in my body right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're doing is we're decompressing it. Yeah. So it's been used to kind of like an accordion. Yeah. Just pushed in. What we're yeah. doing is we're just creating that space. Disc because that's what ends up happening is when you're sedentary, the disc starts to shrivel up. Less you're hydrated, disc starts to shrivel up with less motion. Uh, it just cascades into yeah. dysfunction. It's not good. Oh. Well, yes. let's, uh, let's check out the neck. I'm gonna actually have you turn face that way. Okay. Now that you're already mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Moving again. Okay, let me have you look up a little bit higher. I'm gonna have you look to the left again. And then look to the right. How's that feeling? Uh, good. Feels yeah. smoother? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, let me have you look up to the sky. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> can, can you see a difference? Huge difference. Really? Oh, wow. Remember I said when I was looking down, I could feel that like everything pulling? Yeah. I don't feel it that. Like I said, I live with a pain for such a long time. I don't even realize I have a pain. It you becomes know, a part of your normal yes, day. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I, any improvement for me, it's like, it's huge. Cause this, like how long would you say in total you were dealing with all of this? 20 years, close to 20 years. It's a long time. Yeah. So do you like, do you feel it as like totally no. as you? No, I don't. I feel like, um, yeah, no, seriously. I feel like my, <laughs> my neck got longer. <laughs> You stand up and I want you to touch your toes just to see the difference. How does it feel just going up and down now? I think I gained one inch on the reach. We got you a little taller for sure. No, no. <laughs> on the reach, I swear got because before it was like, I could do it, but I needed to do this so they can go like that. So after 20 years of living like this and you having to worry about your body? Coming like, back this, in a few weeks to see again because I want to feel like 20 again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel right now like 30. Awesome. Yeah. So this is what we're going to keep doing because we want to keep you feeling this way mm -hmm. and just getting you in alignment because... No, I, it feels really good. High five. Thank, thank, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. High five and hug. Yeah. <laughs>